makers, I'm Joseph the 3D Maker Noob and for the past few months I've been printing a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot a lot, like 10 to 15 spools worth of filament a week a lot. Now when you do that much of 3D printing, you're gonna left with something. This, you're gonna have an empty spool, well almost empty spool, with a little bit of filament left. Now one, not so bad, you can live with it. However, This is about one fifth of the amount of empty spools I have, which have a little bit of filament left. Granted that some of them don't have a little, little bit, but it's just a little bit. Now in this case, I could easily throw this away. So first of all, I don't want to throw the spools away because I want to find something that I can use them for. But when it comes to little filament that there is left, I feel like if I throw away this amount of filament, which is about two meters, and then I throw another one away, another one away, and before you know it, that's 10 spools, and that's 20 meters of filament, and then it's 50 spools, and that's 100 meters of filament, and filament costs money. Now, while I can find possibly productive ways of using that, something has come up which I thought to myself, I definitely could find a way to use this, whatever is left of these filament spools. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set these up, I'm gonna throw them in the printer, and I'm gonna print something functional, and then I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. The result are these two things are right here. And you might ask me, what are those? Well, this is the master spool concept. For those of you unaware, Richard from RichRap 3D has started this concept of having a single master spool where filament manufacturers don't actually ship out filaments with a spool. They simply ship out the rolls of the filament. You print your spool and they're simply interchangeable. The way this works is that you have the filament roll which goes in here and then you simply just close it up. Now it's still in its infancy. However, there has been one company so far that jumped onto this ship and decided to start producing filament without a spool. Dust Filament is a German 3D printing filament manufacturer who has decided to start producing this kind of packaging. Now there are several advantages to this. Uh, the first one being that this is under a kilo. So shipping for one spool will be much cheaper. Second thing is this, this is reduced. This is essentially plastic waste, which the community really doesn't need more of. Now there are still several things you can do with these, which I'll get to in a bit. But first I wanna get back into the master spool. So you receive the package like this and all it is is a roll of filament with three cable ties and a sticker so you know what the filament is. Then it's vacuum packed into a plastic bag. What you want to do then is simply open the packaging, take the spool out, you then have the bigger part of the uh, half of the master spool. The way it's designed is that you have these slots here which is where the um, cable ties would slide through and you also have these little slots in here. This is where the end of the spool would go in. You then grab the spool, slide it with the cable ties into the slots. You grab the end filament of the roll and you simply just slide it into that slot over there. Once that's done, you simply grab the other half of the spool and you screw it in place. And the holes should align perfectly. So now essentially you have a perfect spool of filament. Next thing to do is cut the um, cable tie closest to the end of the spool. Simply just take it out, grab the end of the spool and you have this really awesome slot designed within the spool itself. Then you can simply go ahead and cut the rest of the cable ties. Tighten it up just in case and that's it. 
you're done. One final thing you can do is grab the sticker that came with the spool and simply put it in its appropriate place so you know what the spool is all about. There you have it. This is probably one of the greatest concepts to hit this community so far. It minimizes waste and to be completely honest, this is one of the best ways I found to actually use up all of your spools that those little few meters that you have left at the end of the spool i always don't know exactly what i'm going to be using them for whatever it is it doesn't have to be pretty now most of you will tell me but you've had so many filament spools that had red in them and that's because if i have six printers running on the same project printing the same color and material then i need six different spools to make printing time shorter. So I'm usually left with little filament on each spool and this is the best way I found to use them. Now some of you may say that okay we've sorted out the all the using up all the filament in the spool what about the spools themselves? In my mind there are three things well four things you can do with these. First of is find some creative way to use these maybe use them as legs for a tabletop. Second is you can send them off to Filamentive and you'll get yourself a discount on your next order. I will leave links in the video description. Third would be to recycle them. If your country has a recycling thing going on, well simply send them off to recycling. Or you can get creative. Now in my case what I did was I grabbed some more uh, spools that had a little bit of filament left. I threw them in the Palette Plus and I set it to just feed out filament with random patterns and colors and I printed this. This is a simple spool however it has trays in it and now I have something functional where I don't have to have screws lying around or parts or whatever. I actually this this actually has some decent amount of space in it so anything small uh, screws nuts bolts uh, components whatever they can easily fit there. Now this was a design I found on Thingiverse. I tweaked it a little bit. I will upload the links to the new design. Uh, it's basically just to have enough space to insert two screws on top and on the bottom in order for this to attach properly. I do wish to remix this a little bit more. One of them to have a bit more compartments. Two, spacing would be better. Three, it's not exactly circle in the middle. And I want a locking mechanism. However, for the time being, since it has these two awesome handles here, all I need to do is just grab myself a rubber band and put it there. And that's a beautiful way of sort of completing the cycle of filament manufacturing, filament finishing, reusing the last piece of filament to create a spool. So you use a roll of filament without a spool and whatever is left of that filament you use to create something more functional. I think it's absolutely awesome. I do wish to take this a step further. So for example, I've recently printed this on the Tronxy X5S and this is the Spanner Hands spool box. The idea here is to have a self-contained filament spool holder, which locks tight because it has kind of like a rubber seal. You can throw in um, silica gel packets. It closes, locks, and filament comes out. Now I've printed this in the Kodak PLA Plus. However, in retrospect, I'm thinking that I, instead of using a brand new spool of filament from Kodak, I could have easily just done the same thing. I still have dozens of spools of filament which have a few meters left in the end. So I'm definitely going to be printing more of these. Now to make my life easier, um, I used for half of the spool, I used the uh, Prusa Mark III and I put the filament run out sensor to the test because every time the filament ran out, it simply notified me, I went, I threw another spool and it kept on printing. With the Palette Plus, it's a bit easier because you simply throw in four spools of filament, you put them through the Palette Plus and you simply tell it just to keep on splicing filament um, in random patterns. And that's how this came out. And I think that looks absolutely awesome. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I do suggest that you give the master spool a go. I will leave the link in the video description. This is version four. There has been quite a few iterations. A huge, huge shout out to Dust Filament for jumping on board with this almost as instantly as Richard posted about the master spool. In the meantime, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, happy making guys.